Hi, I'm Daniel D'Souza and welcome to Aptitude Academy. This is part 3 on the lecture on averages. Here's your first sum. Alright, now for the first problem, uh, they've said that it's 12 kgs of rice, which is priced at 30 rupees per kg, and you have 8 kgs of rice that's priced at 40 rupees per kg, right? Now, here you're asked to find out that if they're both mixed together, what is the cost per kg, right? What is the average cost? Now, this seems like a different problem, but in fact, it's similar to the ones where you have the students and the marks, right? I want to do a problem like this way so that you know that this is the same kind of problem, right? It's not a mixtures and allegations kind of problem, it's just a simple averages problem, right? So now, in a similar way, what you're going to do is you're just going to multiply it out again, right? You're going to have 12 into 30, right? Plus 8 into 40, right? Now, this is basically that you're mixing all your rice together, right? So similarly, now you have two different types of rice, you want to mix them up together, and then you will find out what is the average cost. So you've got 12 into 30 plus 8 into 40, right, divided by what? The total number of kgs, right? So you've got 12 plus 8. So you just write 12 plus 8 here, right? Okay, so now you have 12 into 30, that's 360. You have 8 into 40, that's 320. And you have 12 plus 8 is 20, right? So now this is going to be 680 by 20 right so this is 34 right so this is 34 rupees per kg now you saw that 12 kgs of rice is 30 rupees per kg and 8 kgs of rice is 40 rupees per kg after you mix both of them up it comes to 34 rupees per kg also some, something that you can appreciate here is that um suppose now they were both 8 kgs of rice right if you mix them up it would have just been 30 plus 40 by 2 correct as i said in the first problem in the first video but now you see that there is more weightage on the 30 rupees per kg, right? So the eventual cost per kg will go down. It will go towards the 30 rupees. So you, since you see that there's a small bump in the kgs of the 30 rupees brand, right? The cost is not 35 rupees, it's gone down to 34 rupees, right? And these kind of things are the things what you need to appreciate and understand because if, if you understand these kind of things, you will be able to solve tougher problems much easier. All right, let's go into problem number two. All right, now for the second problem, they've given you that the average of X numbers is Y and the average of Y numbers is X. What is the average, right? Now, this seems like it's totally different from all the problems that we've done before and it seems tougher, but in fact, it's the easiest problem that we've done till now, right? Let me show you how. Whenever you get something like this and you have two averages, right? Always make this column, write the group, write the average so that you don't make a mistake, right? So now, we know that um, the average of X numbers is Y, right? and the average of y numbers is x, correct? Simple. Now what we need to find is the average. To find the average, we need to find the sum divided by the total number, correct? Simple. So now your average is going to be, your average is going to be simply x into y, right? You multiply this and you multiply this, right? Sorry. And divided by the total number, that is this, correct? So what you're going to do is you're just going to multiply xy plus yx, divided by x plus y, correct? Now, xy and yx is the same thing, so you can just add them up as 2xy divided by x plus y. And this is your answer, that's all. Such problems seem that they're extremely tough, but they're actually very, very easy. You just need to understand what's happening and what you need to calculate. All right, let's go into problem number three. All right, now the third problem is a slight extension of the second problem, right? Now, let's solve it and I'll tell you why. All right, so now they've given us that the average of x numbers is y square and the average of y numbers is x square, right? So what's the average? Now, similar to the second sum, you just need to solve it out in a similar way, right? You can just write x y square, right? You're multiplying x and y square plus y x square, correct? Divided by x plus y, right? Now, this would be your answer. But what will happen is you look into your options and this is not there in your options, right? And then you'll say that Daniel told you to solve it like this way, but there's no other option, right? So what you need to do is if you don't find it, there's always some way to simplify it or to add terms to it or to subtract terms to it, multiply, divide, somehow get it to an equivalent form in one of your options, right? And now in this case, what you need to do is a simple factoring, right? If you take x, y common out in the numerator, right? If you take x, y common, right? What's left in the first term is just y and what's left in the second term is just x, right? divided by x plus y. Now, x plus y and y plus x are the same thing, right? So you can just directly cancel this out, right? And your answer is xy, 
and this will be the linear options. All right, so this is part three on lecture on averages, where we saw three problems, two of which didn't have numbers, they had terms, right? In part four, we'll solve many more tougher problems, which involve similar terms like this way, x, y, x square, y square, and stuff like that. If you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and tell all your friends about it. Until then, spread the knowledge.